Growing up, I was a chunky wonky. And if you're like me and you grew up in the early 2000s, you played Pokemon. My two favorite Pokemon were Jigglypuff and Machoke. One resembled me, and the other resembled who I wanted to be. Now if you don't know Pokemon, Jigglypuff is a circle with weird hair, and Machoke is a beefcake. Now growing up as a Jigglypuff, I got bullied a lot, and there was this one guy that bullied me so much, and he was in my elementary school, middle school, and high school. I couldn't get away from him. Sometimes it would be microaggressions or blatant insults, and that guy was me. In my previous video, How to Become a Gym Bro, I mentioned how I used to be a chubbly wubbly, and in this video, I'll show my experiences growing up as a chubster. When I was a kid, I honestly didn't know how gaining weight worked. So the meta back then was just eating a bunch of sugar and avoiding fats. And it's not hard to imagine the build I had from this. For all of elementary school, I was basically a donut. And kids at that age are very blunt. My classmates pulled no punches as to why their fellow classmate had more insulation. We were playing soccer on the blacktop at recess and my own teammate came up to me and said, hey Kevin, I think you'd make a good goalkeeper cause you're bigger. It all happened so fast. I was thinking, oh wow, you think I have good hand-eye coordination to trust me as a goalkeeper for the team? Nah, it's cause you can just stand there and cover the entire goal. I didn't know kids could be this intuitive. Okay, this one was from my teacher. Kind of crazy. So I was in concert band and our attire was a polo and dress pants. We were backstage at a concert just chilling, waiting to be called on. I kind of dug myself into this one, but to spark out some conversation, I mentioned how my dress pant button popped off and I was going buttonless. Yeah, do you see where this is going? 0 0.001 seconds later, my band teacher says, looks like someone needs to go on a diet. Man, that was diabolical. I actually can't believe I remember that. It was like 12 years ago. Man, he did me dirty in front of the band girls. Okay, so in high school, the sad thing is, I don't even know if I was chubby back then because I saw myself as chubby, but when I look at old pictures of me during that time, I didn't even look that puffy. In my freshman year in high school, we had a swim unit in our PE class. Not a filler beach arc, but actual weeks of learning the different strokes, competing in races, and treading water for 10 minutes. And if your ears got wet, you would have to walk the plank. The pool was the same one the swim team would use, and so the deep end was like 300 feet. I didn't know how to swim. I also didn't like swimming back then because I had to take off my shirt. It shouldn't be that bad. There's probably other kids that don't know how to swim, just like me. And you're right, there were some other kids who were bad at swimming. Just kidding. I was the only one who didn't know how to swim. Right next to the pool was a shallow kiddie pool. A kiddie pool? Nah, you're just exaggerating, Kevin. A hot tub is deeper than this. And while my classmates were doing the water exercises, I was just chilling, watching them, with my shirt on. At least I was getting full attendance points. I was down in the dumps for most of high school, but this one girl gave me a compliment that made me ascend into a new realm. It was raining and we were waiting for a teacher to open the classroom door, and I said, Oh no, my hair's gonna get ruined. It's my best feature. Yeah, I actually said that. And then this girl next to me said, Hmm, I think your best feature is your traps. I actually didn't know what that meant, but I was like, oh, thanks. So when I got home, I googled what traps were. A back muscle? So when I'm looking away, you're looking at my back? I mean, she didn't really say what was so appealing about my traps, but I stashed it in my chest of compliments.